Hello friends, welcome back to the Python programming session. In the earlier session, we had seen the list form widget in tkinter. And in today's session, let's go ahead with the text widget in tkinter. So friends, in the earlier sessions, we had seen about the entry widget. An entry widget is a widget which takes in a single line of text from the user. So if we want to have multi-line text, then it's not possible with the entry widget. So in such scenarios wherein we want to display multiple lines or enter multiple lines, then we can go in for the text widget in TK Enter. A text widget is a multi-line text area used to display the multi-line formatted text with various styles and attributes. We can create n number of lines in a text widget. And some sections of the text in the text widget can be formatted differently. Each section can be formatted differently. That is, we can have some section of the text in the text widget and can have one particular font and the other section can have a different font. So, we can format the text within the text widget. Often, it is used for creating forms. So, basically, it is used for creating forms. They can also be used as simple text editors or even web browsers. Text widget can be used to display images, text or links. We can display images, text or links within the text widget. So we can also have locate specific sections of the text and apply changes to those sections. We can have different fonts. The text in the text widget can have different fonts, sizes, background color. So it can have, we can do formatting or editing within the text in the text widget. And now the options are, various options are there. I have specified two important options that is the height and the width. Height specifies the height of the widget in lines. Width specifies the width of the widget in number of characters. So now let's go ahead with a code example and see how it works in Python. So from tkinter, I'm importing all. I'm having my main screen, main window, that is win equal to tk. And now let me create my text widget. Let me call it with the name identifier as text1 equal to text. This is the widget which is available in tkinter. I am placing it on the main window and I am giving a width equal to 80 and height equal to 20 for my text widget. Now I am placing it on my screen with the pack method. Let me give a pad y equal to y. Pad y equal to 10. So it will be a little bit below the below from the beginning so now when i run the code i get my text widget in this particular way this is the text widget which is having a width of 80 and a height of 20 and i given pad y so it is below from the beginning 10 pixels below the text widget is appearing. So this is a blank text widget and we can enter any number of lines. It is multi-line. So we can enter any number of lines within it. So now let me close it. Now let me have some buttons so that I can do some operations on the text in the text widget. So and the buttons I want to place it in the frame. So all the buttons I want to place it in the frame. So first let me create a frame for the buttons called button frame is the identifier equal to frame. Place it in the main window and let me pack it on the screen button frame dot pack. So now let me have some buttons called submit button, add button and clear button. So let me have three buttons. So button 1 is equal to button and then I am placing it on the frame that is button frame. Button underscore frame. 
text equal to clear command equal to clear underscore text and now let me pack it on the screen by saying button one dot pack side equal to left so I'm placing it on the left side of the button frame similarly let us have another two buttons let me call the second one as button 2 and the text for this is submit command equal to command is equal to get text let me have my function called get text and then i am having my third button which is having the text on the button as add and here I am having my function called add text for the in between button let me say pad x equal to 10 side equal to left pad x is equal to 10 and for the last button the text is add the function which it calls is add text and even it is placed on the left so we are basically having three buttons button 1 button 2 button 3 the first one is clear button the second one is submit button and the third one is the add button so what does the clear button do the clear button deletes all the text which has been entered in the text widget so it clears all the text entered in the text widget so let us write the functionality for that so def clear underscore text colon so how do we get the text so for that we have to say text1 dot delete function I am using and I am use I am giving 0 0.1 till end so all this while for the list box or for the other different methods other different widgets we were using zero to end delete from beginning to end means zero to end but in the text widget we have to specify the beginning position as 1.0 so beginning position is 1.0 till end i want to delete the text in text text box widget so I am using text1.delete from beginning till end. So this is for the clear text. Now let's go on to the next button which is the submit button. So the function for it is get text. So now let's write the functionality for get text. def get underscore text. And now I have to get the text whatever is written in the text box widget. So for that let me say my name equal to text one dot get. So get is another method which helps in getting the text written in the text box. So from where to where I want to get the text. So from the beginning till the end I want to get my text. So name one will have this particular value. Now if I say print name, not name one, it's name, then it will print the, on the console over here. On the console it will print the text entered by the user. So whatever text user enters, it will be fetched by the get method and it will be displayed on the console. So let us print it in two ways on the console and on the label. So let us have one more widget which is the label widget. So label 1 is equal to label. Place it on the main window. And text let it be blank. And label 1 dot pack. I am packing it onto the screen. So over here I can give 
label one dot config and I can change my text equal to name. So whatever data is there in the name, it will be printed onto the text in the label widget. So basically whatever data user enters in the text box, it will be captured in name and we are printing that particular name and we are also on the label, we are displaying text equal to name. So whatever data user enters, it will be displayed on the label that is label one. And now there is a third button called the add button and the functionality for it is add text. So let me define it add underscore text. So this is the functionality and I'm adding the text into the text box. So text one dot insert. I'm inserting the text into the text box. What am I inserting and in which position I am inserting? So from the end, whatever user enters, after that I am inserting my text. What is the text? Text is slash and in the new line it will appear an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So this is my text which I am inserting at the end of the text box, at the end of the text in the text box widget. So after writing these functionality, so let's recap. I am having three functions. One is clear, one is get text, one is add text. Then I am having my text box widget, button frame three buttons placed in the button frame and a label widget. <coughs> now let's run the code and see how it executes. So this is my text box and I'm having three buttons. First is clear, second is submit, third is add. So now let me add some details into my text widget. So let me say list of proverbs and let me give some proverbs a stitch in time saves nine failure is the stepping stone for success Better late than never. Honesty is the best policy. So these proverbs have entered into my text box. So it's a multi-line. We can add it in multiple lines. Entry box was a single line but text widget we can add multiple details. And one more thing is we can make this section of the text box bold. We can make the remaining italic. So different sections of the text box, we can change the font, size or bold, underline or italic, which is not possible in the entry widget. So now let me click on the add button. When I click on the add button, an apple a day keeps the doctor away should be inserted at the end of the text in the text box. So this is the end of the text. So in the new line, we have to get an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So when I say add, I get the text an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So this text has been added. Now when I click on the submit button, that is button 2. It calls the get text. Get text. It should print on the console. This is the console. It should print on it. And it should print it on the label as well. As we have defined the label and added the details into the label. So now if I say submit, we get it on the console. Because I am printing it on the console. And also it we get it on the label which is placed in the main window. So whatever details are there over here gets added onto the label 
as well as on the console now if i clear if i hit on the clear button everything should get deleted because we are given the delete functionality in clear text from beginning till end i want to delete so when i say clear everything gets clear so it should clear on the label as well so how to go about it in the clear text functionality i have to say label one dot config i have to give text equal to blank so it will clear the text on the label as well so now when i execute it let me add some random values so now if i say submit it should submit it should come on the label widget as well now if i say add it says an apple a day keeps the doctor away because we are inserting this uh, text onto the text box now if i say clear it clears in the text widget as well as on the label so this is how it works friends so basically i am having my text widget width equal to 80 height equal to 20 then i am having my frame and i am packing three buttons onto the button frame so this frame i am packing three buttons one is clear second one is submit third one is add when i say clear it will cl delete text one dot delete functionality it will use and it will delete from the beginning till the end for text box the beginning position is 1.0 not 0 it is 1.0 then submit means it will print it on the console as well as on the label so it will get the text which has been entered in the text box which is text1 dot get by text1 dot get and then it will pass this particular name to text in the label so it will be displayed on the label if user clicks on the add button at the end of the text in the text box an apple a day keeps the doctor away gets added and so these are the three functionalities which we saw in this particular session so hope so friends it is clear for you a text box is a multi line multi line text area used to display multiple lines formatted with various styles and attributes as i told different sections of the text can have different fonts different styles and attributes it is mainly used for creating forms the act as simple text editor or web browsers it is used to enter text user can enter text in the text box or we can add text as how we added an apple a day keeps the doctor away we can add text we can add images or links and it has got height and width as the options which comes in handy for making different sizes in the text box text bo text widget in tk inter so hope so friends it was clear for you if you have any doubts please do reach to me out in the comment section if you like my video click on the like button and please do subscribe to get notifications of my new videos till then see you bye bye